Today we're here with Andy from Big Blue Hammer. How you doing, man? Doing great. How's doing the great. show going for you so far? Oh, fantastic. Tons of people. Tons of people. So we've all come to see your hammers on Forge and Fire and in yeah. Jason Knight's shop, for example. <laughs> so we admire them from afar for a long time, so it's kind of nice for us to come and see them in person. Yeah. They're really impressive stuff. So what, what is it that you're showing off at Blade Show this year? Yeah, I mean, mainly we've got our, our 110 power hammer and the 50-ton uh, press. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a new machine as of Blade Show of last year, and uh, a lot of times uh, knife makers are looking to pair these two machines together. Uh, so we're just we're showing them off all of our dies, a lot of our hand tools, uh, all of that sort of stuff, yeah. Awesome, great. So we're at the 50-ton press now. Yeah, so, so this machine, we were, uh, we were in development for about three or four years before we released it to the public, and Blade Show was actually the first show we got to show it at last year. And I mean, since then, we've had these things go all over the place. Um, the, the design is pretty simple. I mean, that's kind of our whole philosophy is to keep it as, as simple, as few moving parts as possible. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's a quick press. It's built on a seven and a half horsepower motor. The power pack is, uh, is designed specifically to be uh, um, a hydraulic press power pack, right? Um, and we've got a set of our feather dies in there right now for doing Damascus. Presses really excel at giving you that control uh, to be able to pattern, uh, get your patterns and get them clean. Yeah. Uh, 50 ton is an ideal size as well because you really want to uh, you really want to set up your uh, your pattern based on the limits that you set for it, not necessarily on the limits of the machine itself. So if you want to come down to a particular height every time, the the electronic limit switches give you 25 thousandths of repeatability. Uh, so you're going to get the you're going to get the same same size piece every single time, same press into that steel, and that's really important. Uh, but of course, a lot of people doing uh, more dynamic forging too, making uh, making bolster patterns and that sort of thing sure. in it as well. So it's really interesting to put a machine out like this and uh, a year later to start hearing back what people have done with it, the types of things they've made with it, and get to see pictures of that stuff because it's uh, you know it's way cooler than what we ever come up with. You know, <laughs> so yeah. Well, that's incredible. You know, we're big fans of yours. I actually do have some big blue hand hammers. Yeah. Uh, that. I Okay, going to hopefully get to you soon as we build our workshop. But, um, hey, we appreciate the time. Thanks for showing us what you got, and uh, enjoy the rest of your show. A absolutely. You too. See you guys Thank later. you.